-hmm. Hey, this is Crash here from the Crash Cast, and uh, I've got my new tricopter out. I'm going to try to fly it here for you. I'm in the neighborhood, so kind of concerned about the cars and stuff on the street, but I want to show it to you. First off, we uh, turn on the transmitter, and I'm going to turn on the power through the BEC to power up all the electronics. And I'm going to let it register. It's uh, You can't see in the camera here, but there's a green light blinking. Next thing to do is we're going to calibrate our stabilization system. So I'm going to pull back on the right gimbal, go left, and now it's reading the sensors and it's establishing a baseline based upon the gyro and the accelerometers. It's important here to uh, wait until that green light goes out. Don't move it or bump it while it's establishing its benchmark. It usually takes eh, 10, 12, sometimes 15 seconds. And you'll notice I've got it all nice and level here. We've got no powers to the motor at this point. All we're doing is powering up the receiver and the Arduino Wii components. And it went out. Now we're ready to put in our short plug to add power to all the motors. And we're going to see if we can hover it. trying to get it trimmed out, so it likes to float around a little bit. I'm still working on getting it trimmed out, but that's pretty much it. I don't want to go too fast right now if you can zoom in on the motors. I am using just prop savers on it right now because I need to get the right size props in so they'll fit on my collet adapters. So with that, I kind of don't want to put it into fast forward flight. I kind of want to get used to it first. and. Uh, I guess get a little more acquainted with it before I take it out and I certainly wouldn't put it in forward flight in the neighborhood here. But that's my new tricopter. Thanks for watching. <laughs>